Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Quite simply, as you guys know, the best fishing show on YouTube. Now, you want to go beach fishing? Well, what about one of these then? This is what they used to use years ago, a seven inch diameter wooden Scarborough reel. And they used to cast a long way with it. But we're going down to Eastbourne, going to talk to a guy called Tony Carriage, who is a master craftsman at shore fishing and long distance casting. Let's truck on down there, see what Tony has to say. Let's go. And here's his technique. You swing the lead away from you, then sweep it back up over your rod shoulder. As it reaches its peak of momentum, you swing down and up again to generate the power. Here it is again from a low angle. Swing the lead up behind your shoulder, then down and around to gain a huge amount of centrifugal force. Look at it again from this angle. The lead goes away from you first, then up over your shoulder, and then sweep it down and up again to load up that rod blank. And try and keep it as level as you can. So obviously the more level you reel in, the better it will respond on the next cast. Basically, if you bunch you... it all over one side, you're going to get hassle, you know what I mean? Okay. But when you get to your, if I can just show you, when you get to your leader, what you've got to try and judge it, especially if you're in a match, you've got to be quick. But you want that leader knot in one or either side, left or right. Not on your thumb. Right in the corner. So when you bring it in that way, your thumb's going to go the opposite corner because you, you don't damage your thumb or anything like that then. So you put your leader on the left hand side or the right, whichever it comes, and then you're from the opposite corner. This is a little tongue I use, because if you're pendulum casting, you're really hitting it, you're gonna find that you need to grip that spool. And what happens, you can't grip the spool, it'll slip off, and it'll go careering off to the right and hit someone, it could be dangerous, you know what I mean? Gotcha, yeah. So this makes sure you can totally grip the spool. Okay. Um, the other thing that's important is, I always do this, and it, not a lot of people do it, it's a little habit of mine, but just before I'm gonna cast, I'll click that in, but I always just let a little bit of line out. Yeah. Because sometimes it could be trapped around the top ring and you haven't seen it. So just before I cast, I get ready and I'll tend to let a bit of line out. Just just a little bit extra. Yeah, so you, like know that, you know it's free. Just to know it's free. Yeah. Because it can get caught around that top and it'll be an absolute disaster, you know what I mean? Yeah. And here it is from a rear angle. Up, over the shoulder, then down, turn and power out to sea. It's the most popular cast for long distance anglers and make sure you wind the line back level on the reel. This F1's very easy to level onto the spool. You find it, it just comes on beautifully, so you get it nice and smooth. Um, I use this Akios reel now, I found it's brilliant. Um, Simon, who designed them and made them, he gave me one of these, and uh, I've got two of them now. And they're beautiful, they're so smooth, you Is won't it right? believe it. Akios? Yeah. It's just, he used to work for Abu for about 25 years and they made him redundant. And he decided to make his own reels and try to improve on them. But they're exactly the same as Abu's within reason, but ever Similar so price smooth. Or? Slightly cheaper and ever so smooth. Yeah. Uh, they got about £100 that one and it's almost like similar to the Abu Rocket. Looks you know? the same, yeah. Check Tony's technique again. The lead swings away, then high up over his shoulder to accelerate down and up again before releasing the spool. You can send your bait a very long way. As you can see, Graham, all this effort, huge effort, <laughs> you know, to get at this distance. And Chris, my boy, is going to show you in a minute with the long fixed spool and probably get as far as me with no effort at all. And that's where you're going to see the difference in the two casting concepts, you with me? But um, I've pendulum cast all my life. I don't think I'm going to change now, unfortunately. Um, Stood you in good stead. Old habits never die, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hopefully, our totally awesome cameras have covered enough angles to give you some idea of the technique of pendulum casting. 
do not use it on a pier, confined spaces, or where other anglers are near you. Do use 50 to 60 pound quality shock leader and good swivels. Tony makes the pendulum cast look easy. Trust me, it's not, and releasing that spool at the right moment can only come with experience. With Tony confined to the back burner, it's the turn of his son Chris Kerridge to show the revolutionary new casting outfit with 16 foot rods and braid lines. Right, I'm going to uh, show you how to cast with a fixed ball and a 15 foot rod instead of what my dad just showed you with a multiplier and a shorter rod doing a pendulum cast. I'm going to make it a lot easier. Okay, so I've got a 60 pound shock leader and a 15 pound main line. I've got a finger stall here. This is a, this is a must, so it stops the line from cutting your finger. It's just a leather finger stall. You can buy them in your local tackle shop. We're going to use a six ounce lead and like I said, a 15 foot rod. I'm going to make it very easy and hopefully get quite a nice distance. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a basic overhead cast. I've got a four, four and a half foot drop and I'm just going to give it a little backward swing. Out it goes. When it comes back, straight over my head. It's very high speed retrieve, a lot faster than a multiplier. Obviously you've got, you've got a big long cone spool on it and you get a lot more line on there quicker. Which is handy if you're fishing over rough ground, you can get the lead up a lot higher, a lot quicker. Also for fishing in competitions, it enables you to get the fish in a bit quicker. So then you can get back out and catch some more. Hitting that lead on the inward swing is difficult. But get it right, and those yachts might get a hole in their sails. A couple of basic tips for the cast. I'm going to swing the lead. And I'm going to try and hit the lead at its furthest point back to, to load the rod up and compress the rod more. So the rod does more of the work than me. So I'm making the rod work for us to get the end product. So it goes out, and as it comes in at its highest point, then we're going to cast it. Applying the power when the lead is on an inward swing is really weird, but it does help to load up that long rod blank and generate its power right through to the tip. It won't be a fast cast, as at 16 feet the rods are long, but they can produce a huge amount of leverage, and coupled to the quality of the rod blanks mean you can cast a very long way with comparative ease. This outfit is the great equaliser in competitions. You are up there with the pendulum casters. And in bright daytime conditions, long casting can often get you to the deeper water where the fish are. And you don't spend half the night unpicking an overrun from your multiplier. Here's the perfect shot with Chris. You can see he hits the lead on the inward swing. Bang, it goes out miles, probably Calais and Brains, a French worm digger. Here's a side shot using a 180 degree camera. And don't worry about the other camera on the beach, he just fell over from old age. Make sure you have a good footing and check who is around you before you crack that lead out. The cameraman has already retreated to safety and left the camera on a tripod. Okay, a final tip to help improve your casting with one of these 15 foot rods. It's very simple, a lot of people forget to use their left, left arm, their left hand on the butt. A lot of people just cast with just their right, right hand. So if you can imagine like throwing a javelin, you want to pull with your left, left arm, so your left arm does as much work as the right, and push with the right arm as well at the same time. And this will load the rod up a lot more and you'll get, you'll get a lot more distance out of your cast using your left hand. A lot of people don't, don't tend to use their left hand and it's, 
it does cut down their distance a lot. So if you can drum it into yourself, left hand, left hand, left hand, as, you, as you're going through the cast, remember to pull with the left and push with the right. These new outfits can put the lead out a very long way, but you still need good terminal rigs and bait presentation in order to catch the fish. Some of the long rods cast six ounces easily, so at long range and in the tide, you're probably going to need grip leads to hold the bottom and make allowances for tidal flow that might drag you into snags, rocks, posts or groins, as you will take longer to wind in if you are casting further out. And remember, at night, some of the bigger fish, especially bass, will come in close. If you fish a pair of rods, cast one well out, but keep the other closer in to cover both options. Okay Graham, now before you go fishing with your little rod, I think you should have a go with this one. You think so? Let's see how you get on. I'm sure you'll get a nice bit of distance with it. It might even interest you in buying yourself a 15 foot rod in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Distance is king. It definitely is. I used to fish with multipliers all the time, but now find it quicker and easier to use fixed spool reels. I've had more bird's nests with multipliers than all the birds on the Serengeti Plain. I just want to go fishing and not spend half the night putting new line on the reel. I was glad to give Chris that long rod back. I only had a few casts but could feel I might get very attached to one. But these long outfits can certainly swing the distance odds in your favour. They are, as we say, totally awesome. Well that's it guys, that's the outfit you need, a 15 foot rod, nice big deep spool like this, some decent line, get out there, get fishing and I'll tell you what, I've just cast a very long way and now I've got to do the same with some bait on.